<laughs> What's happening? Request it to start. All right, let's get it. How are you, people? What's happening? What's happening, brother? How you going, man? Good? I'm doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. How's everything going over there? I mean, you know, it is what it is, man, but we're going to make the best of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hold on here. Let me try to put a little... First of all, thank you for coming on the show, reaching out to me, for being on the show. Oh, man. Man, thank you for thank you for having me, man. This is a blessing, bro, brother. Uh, well, it is a blessing for me too. Thank you. You're my second international guest on the show. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, for for the viewers that don't know who you are, if you want, if you'd like to introduce yourself, I've got some background stuff on you as well here. Um, yeah, if you want to introduce yourself to everybody. Yeah, man, you know, hey, you know, my name is Fur King the Designer, and I'm a custom fashion furrier out of New Jersey, the New York area. And you know, I'm 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 just I'm just blessed, man. You know, I just love God, man, and gave me a blessing and a platform to um you know, to be in this position to be able to share, you know, a little bit of my fur king empire yeah. that I'm gonna display a little bit today. You know what I mean? Yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah, no, the info that you gave me, and um, I so say you were born in the Bronx. Yeah, I was born in the Bronx, but basically, I was born in the Bronx, but I was Jersey raised. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because you know when so I was you born there when you were young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was, I was born in the hospital. The Bronx, I was born in Bronx, Lebanon Hospital. So after that, my father already had a house built in Jersey. So yeah. soon I was born, I was in. So when I opened my eyes, I was in Jersey. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, sweet ass. Yeah. And then, uh, and how how did you get started? How did how did you what what made you um what made you like uh you know what made you think to yourself this this is what I want to do? You know what I mean for for the for a career for the for the rest of my life? You know when was was it from as a kid or like the breakdance era and stuff or? Yeah, it, man. You know, I'm, let's see, man. I'm gonna break it down. I'm from. I'm from Teaneck, New Jersey. I'm from a county called Bergen County, New Jersey. And I live in a, a legendary town called Teaneck, New Jersey. Yeah. And we just, just out, out here, man, it's just so different. It's, it's like, I, I call it like Smurf, like, like, like I call it like Smurf <laughs> Village. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because we, we, we're, 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 we're so, we're so, we're so, we're so separate, but we're so far apart at the same time. And yeah. there's so many legendary people out that lives out this way. And it's just from the era that I would happen to be from. Uh, you know, I'm from, I'm from that crack era. You know, yes. I'm, from, I'm from that, I'm, I'm from the crack era. I'm from that get fresh, dope boy, get fresh off the block corner kind of fresh era. So yeah. it always, it always, so it always stuck with me to this very day. So yeah, even yeah. though fashion, even though fashion has changed a little bit, I still know how to still keep it old school, but I know how to mix it in with the new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, you, you know what I'm saying? So, 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 I, so I've been, I've been around all the hustlers and all the gangsters and all the cats that was about getting money and being fly. That's the era that I'm from. So I mean, so it, it just, it just stuck with me, man. And I'm, and, and I'm, I'm here today to just show the world this is how I get down and how what I feel about fashion and how I feel fashion should be presented as being a grown man from when I was a little kid until yeah, right yeah. now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because it, it did, the, the, you know, them dudes on the blocks and that, they, they influenced a lot of rappers from back then. Uh, Rakim started dressing like them, Big Daddy came with the chains and, you know, the Dapper Dan outfits and stuff like that. That The drug dealers really inf influenced the, the new well, wave of rappers that come, you know, well, before Run DMC. They dressed more like a stick up kid sort of style with the hat and the leather right, jacket right, and right. stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 like I always tell people, it's always, it's always the basketball players want to be the rappers and the rappers want to be the drug dealers. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, That's how it yeah. came down. So, so, so I was just like I said, I'm just from an era where we just get real fly. 
we just part of that era. It's just something about the water that we drink out here. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. We just get real fly. We just get real fly here with it, man. So, you know, I just, you know, I just want to just show people, you know, a little bit about Fur King Empire, you know, of the stuff that I made. But also I want to show about personal stuff that I buy off the rack as well, just to show people that you can get fly without all that Gucci and all that Louis stuff. That exactly. I try to say that as well. You know what I mean? It's, it's come to the thing today, I think, where everyone will see that on the new rap. Oh, yeah, you got to wear this or you got to wear that. Where back in the days, people had what people got fresh off what they had. You know what I mean? You see a lot of old Rocksteady crew photos from back in the day. They're just wearing plain t shirts with lead jeans and, and they got the fat humors or, or adidas on or, or or even converse i remember crazy legs used to wear converse a lot with fat laces in that you know because people didn't have a lot of stuff you know what i mean and now it's like yeah then it turned into and uh yeah but uh, yeah you can't be fly without the most expensive stuff you know what i mean i think it's just it, it's it's a part of how you present yourself and originality and, and, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and, yeah, I, and, that, and that's another, what you're into as well, I guess, you know? Right, and, and that's another thing. And I'm from the era, and I'm from the era where we don't want to look the same. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's what I present all the time. When I, when I step out, you're not going to look like me. No, I, that's I, right. I, yeah. I can, Exactly. Yeah, I, I can, I can, I can, I can promise you, you're not gonna look like me. You might think you look like me, but you're not gonna look like me because I strive and I thrive off of looking completely different than anybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so, I, so I, I represent that 80, 90, get fresh, cool era. I've never been called country or or uh, or, uh, or 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 old, you know, old, you know, old head or nothing like that in my entire life. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I've always been when I put on when I put on my fit. I'm always looking legit. I'm always looking good. I'm always, I'm still looking cool in my outfit, no matter of my age. You know what yes. I'm saying? And that's what I want to represent and bring to the fellas out here and let the world know you know you can look fly in anything if you know how to get fly. That's right. Yeah. If you if yeah, that's exactly yeah. And I love that era. I'm 40 years old. You know, um, my partner's uh, 44, and she's from that era as well. Like, and then you grow up. Uh, to me, I don't know if I'm biased in that, but I love that era. That like, you can't that like, you can't. You can't repeat it, and you shouldn't be repeated. Like, but if you're from that era, and like, and you still stay dressed like that in the era, I, I don't think people can even say anything about it. You know what I mean? Because that's that's your era. You know what I mean? If it's like, you yeah. know, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel like from from from, from the eighties, I, I feel the eighties, all the way until two thousand four. That's when everything kind of. Went went left. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So for the 80s, 90s, and 2004, anything after that, everything kind of went left. The fashion started changing. People started, uh, you know, doing the mix max sweatsuits with the wrong pair of sneakers. I can't stand that look. Yeah, you gotta re <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. Listen, you got to wear Adidas with Adidas, Nike with Nike, Reebok with Reebok, uh, 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 K Swiss with K Swiss. The the only outfit, the only outfit I feel you can get away with is um Sergio Tacchini. You can, you know, because back in the day we used to wear Sergio Tacchini with the Reebok classic sneakers, yeah. or we used to wear it with the Reebok casual sneakers or a pair of Stan Smiths. So that's probably like the only like some of them some of them off brand of outfits, you know, you can get away with a certain pair of sneaker. But for the most part, it gotta be Puma or Puma. It gotta be all of that fly stuff, man. It can't be none of that whack corny like like that that I can't even I can't even have a a, a a serious conversation with you if you have on a Nike outfit with Adidas sneakers. I can't even take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You know well, what that's saying? my partner, I mean, all, all Lacoste, you know, Lacoste outfits with Nikes and stuff like that, you know. But around here, where I was from, when I was growing up, and that, if like, uh, especially as your young age as a kid, like, you know, sometimes a lot of the people, like, because it was obvious, it's different here, you know what I mean? Like, here, we, like, yeah. I'm European background, so they called us wogs here. It was like a wog, well, it, it's sort of like the European equivalent to, to be like, to the N word. You know what I mean? Like that's yep. what we'll yes, call, we'll call yes, And then Wogs made it their own style. And a lot of the times, you had mixed match outfits. Do you know what I mean? Because you were just uh -huh. if you got those shoes, and then oh, you had this 
from somewhere else. Uh, my cousin Zivko, he's his wife, his ex-wife now. I don't know where she used to work, but a lot of my tennis shirts when I was a kid, um, I think she used to work at some second-hand place, and they were second-hand. And, and, uh, like, like, and um, so I would wear just plain pants from right. Kmart or something like that, you know right. what I mean, with, like, old Adidas and then the suit right. on top. And I used to think, wow, I used to think I was rich, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was <laughs> yeah, you know, but I know what you're saying, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but it's different, no, I mean, hey. different, different areas and different different ways of, of, of you know what I mean? Because, like, here but, back then in the 80s, like, um, there wasn't, like, blocks like that. The drug dealers weren't on the blocks. or It, it was different here. Dealers, they looked totally different. You wouldn't think this man yeah. would be a drug dealer. Like, you know, it, it's it's totally different, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I know what you're saying, but, yeah. Yeah, man. So what I'm going to do with today is I know everybody's waiting for me to show a few things. Yes. I'm going to show some I'm gonna show some things, but I'm going to break it down and see if these cats really got that blue fire heat. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. also, what I'm going to do is, though, I'm going to start it off for y'all. You know, I want to just show you um, what, what I have for you. I told you that I had a shoe that was, um, that I have from Australia. And I want to sit up on your platform. I'm going to start yeah. it off with you first. So, I want to let the world know, man, you can't even find these no more. Oh, these, I got these, the kangaroos. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. My friend, Frank, Let's start here. What's up? he loves the kangaroos, man. He's like, everybody raves on about those shoes, you know? They were, they were big here. They were massive, like, those shoes. Yeah. You know, it did, it did, you know we, we, we can't just do one pair. We got to do both pair. Oh, yeah, they're grouse. You understand know what I'm saying? Crispy. Crispy. Yeah. <laughs> Everything I got is crispy. You yeah. understand know what I'm saying? So, so, you know, that's just, that's just one, that's just one pair of the sneaker culture. You know, then, you know, like, I've been, I've been watching a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, in, uh, IG TV lately. A lot of people have been showing off their sneakers and stuff like that. And, you know, I have nothing against, um, you know, um, Jordan's, or, or, or Yeezys or like that. I got a few pair myself, but, you know, I got a, uh, I like to show different stuff. Yeah, diff yeah, like yeah. These, like, like, like these right here. We're going we to shout out Puma right here. This is, this is the, this is the car, this is the car Legafell Puma. They're sick. Yeah, see, even got, even got his glasses that he, that he used to wear. Oh, uh, wow. his face. <laughs> yeah, I can flip it, I can flip it over. You know, and wear it, you know, and do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and they stay on the shoe, like you yeah. them across the shoe, right? Yeah, but see, I got my own style. I wear mine on the side sometimes. You know, sometimes I don't snap it over. I wear mine yeah, on the yeah. side, and so you can see that side view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So this, this is the Carl Lagerfeld Puma that I got. The only person that I know that got this sneaker might be Fabulous, the rapper Fabulous. Other than that, I don't know too many other people. Who got it? You know what I'm saying? As far as far as far as the industry. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just one. That's another sneaker right there. Uh, let's let's see where we at, man. Where we at here? Where we at? Oh my God, where we at? Where we at? We gonna come here, man. We we gonna we gonna bring it back. To, we gonna bring it back to the '80s. Oh, this you know this is, this is this yeah this is the Puma. This is the M3 Puma sneaker by oh, Border Sport. Like Yes, so no, it, that's what it is. Yeah, the motor, it, that's what it is. The motor, with the with the perforated leather tug, like the seats in the car. Grass. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This is this is with the, with look at look at the bottom, look at the sole. That's tough. You know, people say raise the shoe up a little bit. Can you oh, see the yeah, shoe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back. Yeah, raise the shoe up. Sorry. Yeah. Is it is it is it me? Is it? Hold on. Let me see. How 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 how's that look? Yeah, you can that's better. See, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, see, that's the BMW M3 joint. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I said, with the, with, 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 the, with, the, with the perforated leather, you know, just so people can really understand what's going on here. You understand? Yeah, they're tough. How much did they yeah. uh, How much were they retail? Oh, these are these about, about, about $100. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, well, I ain't done yet, man. I, I ain't done it. I mean, we just we just getting started. No, that's it. We're just getting started. It's, it's on. <laughs> yeah, we get we just, just yeah we just getting started, man. We just getting started. 
these, these, these are right here, or the, or the, or the, the, the classic Rod Lavas. Yeah, see. Yeah, these are all great. Nobody got these. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they're great. Awesome. Yeah, you understand what I'm talking about? This is this is a serious this is a serious situation right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nobody, I mean, nobody's walking around with this kind of hardware I got, man. Let's like stop playing with me. For yeah, real. Yeah. Yeah, no one really you knows know? Rod Labor shoes, you know, you're right. Yeah. Uh Oh man, I can't even, man. You got, you know, I got a big mess. Of, I got a big mess in my place, man. Look at these brutes right here. These, these are these are the green. These are the green satin converse. Wow, I love the tongue yeah. on those. Huh? I love the tongue on those. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that's called the. Yeah, that's called the uh the the, the down and cut stitching. They're great. They're yeah, you know and this and this shoe and, and listen, this shoe right here, I want you to understand. This shoe has a uh, it has a lot to go with the shoe, man. Like this is the guy. This was this the guy who wore the sneaker was the first guy in the NBA. He was the first black Afro American to be drafted in the NBA. Oh, awesome! Yeah, for yeah, for, for the Boston Celtics. Uh -huh. Yeah, so very very uh dope, different kind of shoe. That's actually um, my partner's favorite team. She is a Boston Celtics fan. Wait, wait, that's my friend. I'm a fan. I'm a. I've been a Boston Celtics fan since Larry Bird. Man, yeah, well, same as her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she loves Larry Bird. Yeah, everybody tell me to back up a little. But I'm trying to show a little love right here. No, okay, you can see so, it real good there. Yeah. So, oh my God, I don't know, man. These right here. These right here are the, are the, are the, are the S, these are the S. Doc Carters by Jay Z. The Jay Z, yeah. Okay, I bought this shoe in 2003 when it came out. Yeah. You understand what I'm talking about? So, so, you know, and I had, I had it custom painted the same year it came out, you know, just going like through. The Gucci one. Right, right, because back then, Gucci wasn't making the shoe no more. Yes. So Jay Z bought the pattern off of Gucci and put it on the Reebok sole, and he sold a whole bunch of these sneakers. And I, I had cop every pair in two thousand three. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying they look good custom ones, that. Huh? I said they look. That's a good custom job. Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, let me see here, man. This is the other S. Doc Carter that nobody right, got. I've seen this is the New York. Yeah. This, this is the New York Yankee joints. Yeah. The, these are the limited edition Yankee S. Doc Carters. You understand? Yeah. Nobody got these. These are, I, I'm, I'm showing you stuff. I haven't even put my foot in them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you understand, man? I mean, oh, man, y'all guys got me over here working, working hard, man, working hard. Uh... Oh, the, yeah. The, the Magic Johnson Converse All-Star. <laughs> the weapons. Actually, Larry you Bird was the weapons, about? too. It, it, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, you know, again, man, you know, de dead stock. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we got it. We got it over here, man. We we work it. We work it. <laughs> I ain't done. I ain't done. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, man. We're going to bring it back to the classics. We're going to bring it back to the K-Swiss. Uh-huh. Okay? Bring it back to the K-Swiss over y'all. Dead stock. Shout out to yes. K-4's K Entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah, K for the entertainment. Yeah, I, I see him. I see him. Yeah, they're nice. You see what I got going on here? That, that K Swiss. Mm. One of my friends was obsessed with K Swiss uh, years ago. Mm. He's got so many pairs. He doesn't even wear them anymore because he doesn't want to ruin them. 
I'm about to shout out to my man Dennis. Oh, man. Hey, shout out to my man. Shout out to my man, uh, Lady Yes. He wanted to see the, the, the old Ewings. Ooh. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to see the old Ewings. You understand what I'm saying? Big grass. They mad. Yeah. Dead stock. You understand? <laughs> you understand? They, have they, I, I think they re-released those. Yeah. Yeah, they, they released them. You understand what I'm saying? I got, I got more. I got plenty more. <laughs> my, my partner just said, fun fact, they don't sell them in Switzerland, the K-Swiss. Yeah, that's actually American brand, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... These, oh, these, these, are, the tennis, these are the tennis suede, yeah. okay? Exclusively for one store, one store only. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, I love that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm coming with that heat, brother. I'm coming with that other kind of heat. People ain't got this. This this got the perforated suede on the side. Yeah, see, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> dead dead stock. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Look at me. Look at me sweating here. Look at me sweating here. Oh man. <laughs> Got me sweating here, man. Oh, these, wow. these, these are the, these, yeah, these are the B side, every Joe's and Alexander John Pumas. These are by Puma. Wow, they're grass. They're sick. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm talking about right here? This is how it goes down over here, brother. Again, dead stock. <laughs> is that are, are they the pair that you put uh, a, a photo up with the the track suits that you made with the Rubik's cube? No, no, no. I actually have the Rubik's cube sneaker. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is the whole. This is a whole other sneaker is that, is right that here. A different one, is it? Yes. This is a different one. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Y'all got me. Y'all got me working in here, man. Oh man, you got me working in here. You know that noise back around there? This is this this is the Jeff Staple Puma with the pony hair. Oh wow. Yeah, this is the Jeff Staple 50th anniversary Puma. Man. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, and the switch changes colors. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Yeah, it's like a like a pearl paint job on a car. Yeah. Hold on the hold on the ball game here. I got more for you. I got more for you. Hold on. Hold on. Hit you with the hit you with the air. Hit you with the Air Force Wars right here. With, 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 with the kid with the camouflage swoosh I think your son just joined okay young that's what finesse. it is big shout out to young finesse I want to have you big shout out to young finesse day. yeah so it's what we're here doing yeah I don't mind Air force ones I like Air force ones yeah you know what I'm saying come with all that different you know what I mean Shout out to Smoke Girl Nelly. I see y'all in the building. Yeah. <laughs> Boston's in the house. Boston's in the house. Look y'all. Young Finesse, what's happening, man? Yeah, I want to get you on my show one day. If you want to check him out, he's got the, uh, uh, uh what's that? Oh, man, y'all got SoundCloud, me. I think. He's on SoundCloud. I think you just brought something now. I checked out that song that you did with, um, ah, man, I forgot the dude's name. It's on, uh, it's on iTunes, I think, or Apple Music. He features on the song. That's tough. I love that. I love your verse on that. Oh, look out. Are they blazers? Yes, sir. Oh, man. Dead stock. See. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Young Finesse, I see you, brother. I see you. 
Well, I got more. Y'all got me working over here, man. But, you know, I just wanted to just let people know, like, I'm just from that Get Fresh era. Yeah, yeah. So I don't I don't know how to be nothing else, man. Then, you know, I got into fashion. You know, I got into fashion um, as far, like, in, like, in 1998, I had, uh, was looking for, I was looking for a new fur. And I went to this store in Jersey, and I ran into this guy. Well, I ran into this lady, and she said she was going to lunch. And uh, she said she'd be right back, but somebody will come out and help you. So while I was in there, while I was in there, oh, let me see. I'm trying to adjust my camera here, man. See if everybody. Yeah, we got you now. Yeah. Can you, can you see me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. And, uh, I was up here, you know, trying to get me a new fur, and um, the lady said she'd be right back. She went out for lunch. So uh, when I was waiting around, the, the guy, the guy, the, you know, the guy, the guy finally, yeah, they got me, they got me, yeah, they got me sweating in here, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, the guy came out. I was like, yo, man, uh, what you looking for? I said, looking for a new fur coat. He's like, yo, come in the back with me. So I came in the back with him, and um, he had all these furs in the back, you know, and as well as the showroom. Yeah. And then I could see all his cameras and everything like that. And he was like, yo, if I gave you some furs, can you sell them? And I said, yeah. And he didn't ask me my name. He didn't ask me my first name. He didn't ask me my last name. He didn't ask me where did I live. He didn't ask me any of that. And he gave me like about like forty thousand dollars in furs, man, and said, "Yo, go ahead, go ahead and do your thing and bring me back the money." So, wow, I feel like I feel like I felt like you know what, this was an opportunity. But mm -hmm. as I was walking, but as I was walking out of the store, he he stopped me. He said, "Look around," and when I looked around, I knew what he was trying to say. What he was trying to tell me was that he has a whole bunch of furs. Yeah. So. And so basically, if I skip out on him with the money, it's really my loss. Yes, yeah. See what I'm saying? So I went out there, did my thing, brought him back the money, and I've been a partner with him since you know for the last for the last twenty two years. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, amazing. so, yeah. So I feel I'm beyond I'm beyond blessed, man. You know, really, the fashion game came to be you know rather easy. That's and then, you know, I got people such as yourself with your platform, and you know, um, I got some good people around me. I got some good tailors around me, people that really respect what I'm doing and what and what I'm bringing to the game, man. You know, I'm, I'm blessed by God. You know, I, I was blessed by my mother and father. I'm blessed by a lot of people who really, really love me. You know what I mean? So I always try my best to just be as real as I can to the people who as real they are as to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, I, and I am who I say I am. Story, man. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And, and I am who I say I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in beating nobody, jerking nobody, you know, uh, uh, trying to hurt somebody. That That's yeah. that's just not my thing. You well, know, I'm not, I'm not at in, the end of the day. It's bad business. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not, and I'm not in here to, um, to, you know, uh, this, this is a blessing and a lesson what I'm doing today. I never pull out this many pairs of sneakers to show anybody, because yeah, yeah. you know, I just, I you know, I don't have to shout out to Cali Vega, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. Vegas hey, hey, let me tell you something about Cali Vega, man. Uh, you know, he he, I, I'm I'm gonna show it later on before I get off the air. Um, he did something for me that he didn't have to do. Now, he's a person I never met. I spoke to him on the phone, and he actually purchased something for me, actually. Yeah, and um. You know, so he supported my brand, and uh, we we stayed in touch. Yeah. And uh, he did something for me that touched me because, again, we never met. So what he did for me kind of touched me because I can't really say that a lot of people have done what he's done for me. And uh, I, I I I'll, I'll talk about it a little later in the show. But yeah, man, this is what this is who I am. This is what I'm doing, man. This is what I'm about. You know, I I just wanted to just show people. What's going on with me? Um, I, I'm, so I'm going to be talking and showing your things at the same time, so we can keep everything going. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, brother. So, so we over here, you know, P 
people, you know, these are um, these are. Well, I don't know if you can you can you can you, can you yeah, see? Yeah, I can see. They're amazing. The shorts, yeah. Yeah, these, these are the yeah, these are the FK basketball shorts, and you know this is Chanel. This is the this is the uh lettering that comes on varsity jackets. Yeah. You know, I do all kind of stuff. You know, I do the leather, I do fur, I do it all. But I just want it to be different with my basketball shorts. So when I come on out again, I'm looking different than anybody else, including the NBA. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Mm. So, so these, so these are the Nick colors. You know, to go with the shorts. You know, to go with the sneakers. And then, of course, you know, you gotta have a rival. You gotta have a rival team. You know, the, the Chicago Bull FK color shorts. Yeah, you understand real. what I'm saying? Yeah. This so you season. know, I do it. Yeah, thank you, man. So, you know, so I, I appreciate, you know, that I, I, I come so different within my fashion. And just because and just because they call me the fur king, I just don't do furs. I do fashion. Yeah, yeah. All year round. So I don't care if you're in Australia. I don't care if you're in Brazil. I don't care if you're in Europe. I don't care if you're in Paris. I still do fashion. For everybody, no matter what it is, like every season of wear, yeah, yeah, it it could be a thousand degrees outside. If you want a fur coat? I'm not going to tell you I don't do fur. I still do fur. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me back up a little. My, my girl said back up a little bit. Let me see here. I got to listen to what the wife is saying. She said back up. Oh, is that your wife? Hello, nice to meet you. Is that? She? Yeah, Sha. Yeah, Sha Lewis. Sha Lewis. Yeah, she she's another one. She I, I'm going to touch on her uh, uh, in a little bit too. Um. But yeah, man, I'm just I'm just trying to just keep the world intact. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I want the world to understand that I do it all. I feel that a real fashion, a real dresser to me, just in my opinion, is somebody who could do it from jeans and boots to sneakers and suits. Yeah, you, you yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you you should be able to do it both ways. You should be able to do it every way possible. Bow ties. Wizard dot ties, um, you know, tuxedo pants, yeah, sneakers, you know, um, Timberland boots, uh, bucket hats, um, you know, yeah, applejack like hats, yeah. baseball caps, that back fitted. You should be able to do it all. That's to me is a real dresser, and a lot of people get confused about designer. So today, so today, what you're going to see is is that. I'm going to show you some things, but you ain't going to see no Gucci and Louis in here. I'm not going to show you that. That's not what I'm, Listen, listen. It's 26 letters in the alphabet. Why are we already stuck on Louis, Gucci, MCM, Dosa Gabbana, and Chanel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's, it's so it's so many other it's so many other yeah, dope designers you. out here that is so that is so dope that that's killing all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I, that's just, that's just what I want to bring to the table because you know I know people be like you know well you, he's the fur king and he designs all of this fly stuff so so it's kind of so it's kind of like well nobody's going to have what he has but I'm showing you stuff that I buy off the rack too that's just as fly as all that stuff that you buy it yeah, yeah that I don't have to I don't have to buy it I don't have to do it you understand what I'm saying so I, let me yeah, keep back I, to I sold a lot of stuff to to pay for um, basketball sneakers that I couldn't get when I was younger so. Yeah. Yeah, I got over it a bit, you know what I mean? Like This is probably one of the most controversial sneaker in the world. You see it? The the Air Force One Kaepernick. I've never seen that before. Oh yeah. See what I'm saying? This is the Air Force One Kaepernick, the football player, the number seven who went deal down. No, I never know. I don't, I don't, oh yeah, yeah. The football, yeah. The football player. He went nailed down. He went up. He oh, went stand up for when the, the when the um uh, the national anthem was on. Yeah, That's yeah. It. Yes, see in the photo. See, yes. you see his face in the back. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. See, I'm I'm, I'm showing different kind of hardware here, man. I'm showing. I'm showing yeah. Again, dead dead stock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah it's, amazing, it's an amazing shoe, man. It's an incredible. Incredible shoe, man. So, you know, again, man, just, man, y'all got me sweating in here. You got me sweating in here, brother. I mean, don't worry, I'm hot too, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, man, I want to, um, I want to shout out.
You know, I've been to the sneaker game as well. So, you know, this is this is my this is my this is my sneaker right here. See, that's the FK, that's the FK teddy bear. Oh, or, that's or, or crazy. Club. Yeah, with the with with the suede with the Persian lamb suede uh Persian lamb fur swoosh on that's the Nike. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? So I love the, I love the uh, measuring tape on the. Hey, hey, hey! This is this is mine. This is mine. You know what I'm saying? Who 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 who's yeah, that I've right there? That one. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think that shoe. Yeah, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So we over here we're gonna play hardball. We gonna play hardball with this game, oh, no. man. <laughs> You're gonna make all my hair fall out here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another one. Another one for you. This 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 is the Paul Rodriguez SB Dunk. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, it got the white Nike right, on. Yeah. It, okay, but on the other side, it got the it got the red. Yeah. Well, he's Mexican the, uh, background. Yeah, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's an American. Yeah, he's an American skateboard champion. Mm. Okay, ain't too many people got these sneakers right here. This is a whole other ball yeah, game. Tough. This is a whole look at this. I mean, I mean, it's an incredible, incredible shoe. Look at the look at the uh the lock. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he, he was actually the first guy to have a sneaker with the Jordan symbol on it that wasn't a Jordan. Right. Wasn't right. he? Yeah. Oh, man, y'all got me working in here, man. <laughs> running, running out of, I'm running out of room. This is a very special sneaker right here. This this is the this is the Patrick Ewan sneaker, ex Sugar Hill Gang. Oh, the wow. rappers, yes, the rappers out of. Okay, Sugar. Okay, this is the Patrick Ewan sneaker. They did an ex collaboration with the Sugar Hill Gang. One of my best friends, Lil and Robinson. They started. Their mother started a rap group, um, in 1979. Out here in Bergen County, Inglewood, New Jersey, where I live at. Yeah, yeah. That's and, and this too, is the, yeah, and this is the color of the album cover. The album cover is mm. because see, because here, here it go right here. See, see the box. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I feel like I'm the only one out here with this sneaker, man. Maybe me and one of his sons outside of my man Evan Carl go. I don't see nobody else with the uh, with this sneaker. So I'm always gonna represent mine and where my people are from. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you know, this is a special, a special shoe for me, right here. Uh, let's see what else we got here. This is another, this is another Patrick Ewan shoe. This is this is a Canadian version. You can't get this in the USA. You gotta get this oh, wow. from, from Canada. From Canada, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Got got the straps on it. Real crazy. All the different kind of color um situations on it. It's just a whole other ball game with a shoe. Strictly from Canada though. You already get it out of Canada. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm showing, that you some, I'm showing you some heat, brother. I'm showing you some heat. Hold on here. Oh, man. <laughs> This right here is my, my boys out of um out of Shout Town called called Fashion Geek. It's a it's a um, unfinished suede 
and canvas sneaker that they had get for Puma. Ah. And yeah, they, they're out of shot town. They do what they think with Puma out there. And I just want to show some love to them because, you know, they're good guys and I want to represent, you know, my people again. So, yeah, yeah, yeah this is an unfinished top. way. Yeah, definitely a whole other different ball game here, brother. You know, they're all cool Man, sneakers, all cool, all cool kicks. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Man, shouts to images you know, what's happening. Yeah, you know, I'm just like, um, again, like, I'm just from like, you know, like, like, see, back in the early 86 to like 87, um, we had we had a crew out here called uh Dave uh we're well, not a crew but my friends call uh Pablo, Nat, um, Craig Stevens, rest in peace to Chris Johnson, and uh, a few other cats. And those cats was like the Get Fresh crew. Yeah, they used to get fly. They used to get real real fly out here at T Day, and then you know. We had the girls out here just to get fly too. Uh, this is Detail used to get fly. Uh, Mary Brown, uh, Dee Dee Perry, Dee Dee Brown. Um, you know, can't remember everybody, but yeah. we we definitely had girls that got fly, and we had the guys that got fly. And we uh, 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 shout out to Lawrence Bradshaw. I mean, I'm just talking about people I ain't seen in 20, 30 years that was getting fly in that era. That was the epitome of being fly because that's what we did. We, yeah, we got we got fly, and 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 just so you know, we don't get it twisted. T Deck also had the best school systems too, so we was also smart. It wasn't like it wasn't like we was just getting fly. And we was dumb. We were yeah. getting fly. And we were getting fly, yeah, and good. we were getting money, and we were learning some things too. Yeah. So you know, shout out to people like my man Mike Goodall. Um, you know, oh man, it's just so many people, man. I I just I can't remember everybody, man, but. That was the Get Fresh crew, you know what I'm saying? And um, again, man, I'm from I'm from T Day. You know, we got Inglewood, we got Hackensack, and things of that nature. But I, you know, I'm always gonna represent where I'm from. And I just feel like, you know, me being in this game just took me to another level to help my peoples. And I appreciate again everybody who's just joining and showing love. Shout out to my man Cornbread. I see you. Thank you, man, for having me on your site and posting up the flyer. My my, my brother K for rest. Who did the uh, Who did the flyer? That's uh, again, shout out to yeah, yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, shout, shout out to shout out to Cali Vega. Yo, that's my mm -hmm. that's my guy right there. I'm, I'm gonna share something oh, with him. Oh, he's the best, Cali Vega. He's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he's amazing. Shout shout out to uh the gatekeeper. Shout out to uh the, the fashion. Well, uh, my man, the, the fashion guy. He, these these are, these are cats that are all in fashion that that love that gear that you know can come either way. And, yeah. and again, I just feel, and I just feel that fashion should just be um, versatile. I know everybody can't do it, but that's just how my my personal opinion should be. Yeah. I never wore my clothes. I never wore my clothes baggy, like you know, like when they had the, um, you know, when they had the dip set era. Yeah, everybody yeah, wore yeah. these things, you know, three and four inches big. I never, I never was into that look. That wasn't my thing. Yeah, but yeah. you know, but to each his own. But to each his that's own. Right. You know, I always yeah, wore exactly. my hat to fit. Yeah, I always wore my hat to fit. I always, you know. Did what I had to, you know, did what I had to do. And did as time went on, I had met these other cats. Shout shout out to uh, you know, shout out to um Ed Cargo. That's my little brother. And shout out to um Rocky Yayo. They they probably some of the flyest cats, you know, in my town, in my county. They, they used to come through. They, they used to, yeah, listen, them cats, them cats used to come on through, man. And, 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 and shake and shake up the town, man. Those cats was coming through. I mean, they'll wear stuff that people didn't know what they'll wear. Wear yeah, yeah, Jeff yeah. Hamilton jackets and wear Cartier glasses with the diamonds, you know, in, in, in the brim. You know, they were coming. They were really coming yeah, through crazy. a lot of things. So, so yeah. So they be so they they became. I've known them for like twenty years, and here it is today. Till this day, we are still best of friends and brothers, and you know, we still keep the fashion thing going. And um, when I got into fashion. You know, nobody helped me with this. I want you to be clear. Nobody yeah. gave me one dollar. I built this company by myself with all my money that you know that I put into this company to open up the doors for people that were serious about fashion, so I can help them get their clothing brands, you know, out the way. Yeah. So, 
So you know, so I so I, like I always tell my girl, I don't do this for me, I do this for us. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, and I and I really really represent the brand. You know, you gonna have your people out here that's not gonna try to help you because they so scared you're gonna make it. Well, guess what? I made it anyway. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's good. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, people people say, you know, you should stay in your old lane. And I respect that, but I I don't bought the highway at this point. I don't bought the highway. So I can so so I can so I can I can do what I want on my highway. Right now, right now, right now I'm paved with the streets so we don't have no potholes. So we get on there, we can speed, we can we can be like the Autobahn. You understand yeah, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I take my money and I put it right back into the company, man, and I want to see everybody succeed. And anybody that I can help in any way, I will. So, That's again, awesome. your platform is very important to me. Don't think this is small. I know you say this is small to you, but it's big to me. I yeah, mean, you interviewed me from all you interviewed me from Australia, brother. I yeah. see a lot of your Australian people coming over here showing me love. I appreciate the love. Trust me when I tell you, man, God, God is everything, and I'm here. And I got a lot of my clients over here. Shout out to Brown Fox 51. I see you. Big supporter of mine out there, out there in Brooklyn. Shout out to Brooklyn. You know, again, I'm here. So, um, like I said, let me see if I can show you some more kicks, man. Let me see if I can show you some more kicks. Don't worry. Uh, and some of some of your furs and clothes have been in film clips as well, and um, on the front of magazines also. Oh man, yeah. These right here oh. are the empty. The MTV Pumas. I've seen those. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Again, dead stock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know what I, I mean? See, I was going to buy a pair of those, but I never got around to buying them. Oh, yeah, they're they hard. They're hard. Shout out to my man. Shout out to my man, just being B3. I see you. I see you. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I really, I really got a rule here. This is hard work, man. This is hard work. <laughs> this is a very classic sneaker right here. This is the white on white every Christ. every Jones. Every Jones sneaker. See he got his see he got his face on the back? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, this is this is Jay Z the rapper. This is his this is his best friend. He made this sneaker through Puma. Yeah. And I wanted to show I had to show him some love, man. You know, the inside of the sneaker is real crazy on the inside. Man. Got a lot of classics, man. Got a lot of things to hit people with, man. A lot of things to hit people with. Let me see here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Work it in here. Yes, I will. I was going to wait till the end of the show, Deb. I just want to, yeah, before we keep on going, uh, this episode is dedicated to uh, a big girl who passed away not long ago. Her name's Nish. She used to write Ish. She was a graffiti writer. And um, it's very sad, very sad that she passed away. Yeah, I, I was going to do that, Deb. I was going to do it at the end of the show. But um, we'll I'll wait. And uh, uh, yeah, this, this episode is dedicated to her, you know? Okay, rest in peace, Nish. Sorry to hear that. You know, hopefully you're in a better place. And, uh, you know, rest our soul. Yeah, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, speaking of rest in peace, this shoe right here is the TFC Dipsy Hustle Puma. Uh-huh. And, you know, he just, you know, a year ago, he yeah, just he died. Away, yes. And, you know, I, 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 unfortunately, I don't see too many people for some reason, ain't showing too much love to the man. I don't know what happened, but I know I got the Puma, and uh, I'm showing it on here live. You know, rest in peace. Um, shout out to Slow Bucks um, out of Queens, probably one of the freshest cats out of Queens. That's his man, uh, Dipsy Hustle. And I yeah. just wanted to just show that uh, I like to try to give people their roses, you know, while they're alive. So yeah, this is the California Puma. This is the California Puma that he did, the remix. With uh the the ex with Puma, so I just had to make sure that shoe was part of this yeah. segment. Oh, man, I, I don't even know where to put everything out, man. <laughs> I, I don't, man. Y'all gotta be over here.
This is another shoe right here. That's crazy. This came out in 2006. You can see who that is? Oh, Muhammad. Yeah, Ali. this is the Muhammad Ali X Adidas edition. I've never seen those. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to tell you. A lot of people, a lot of people have it. Oh, they sick. You understand? Know Shout out to my man, the, the, the gatekeeper. One of the flyest big guys that I know keeps it Shout versatile. The yeah, the gatekeeper keeps it real fly for bow ties, the blazers, furs, sombrero hats, gators, sneakers, <laughs> sweatpants. He, yeah, he yeah, he gets busy for a big fella. I, I give it up to him. So, yeah, man, just, you know, shout out to Muhammad Ali, you know, one of the, the, the greatest uh, boxers of all time. I of had course. to have this sneaker. You know, mm. I'm just, I'm just going to show you that heat, man, you know, because I don't know what else to show you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know yeah. what else to show you, man. I mean, let me see here, man. Let me, let me see if I can uh, pull something else out the hat, man. This is this is another this this is a this is another kind of the S dot Carters right, back right, in two thousand and six, right. and I went and had them customized to put the Gucci G's on them because you know back then you know the, the original Gucci shoe came out in like nineteen eighty four, yeah, and then and then the shoe disappeared in like nineteen eighty eight. I had a pair, but then they got beat up and stuff like that. Then, like I said, Jay Z went and bought out the S dot Carters, and then you know. I said, well, let me just put a little razzmatazz to it. Yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, this is where we at with it. You know what I mean? So, uh -huh, yeah, shout, shout out for us. Let's show a few furs. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I mean that, that, wasn't, that wasn't the plan, but um, <laughs> if, 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 if I could get to him, you know, now yeah, I got to yeah, see, can sure. I get to him? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, it's hard. Look, look, man. It's horrible in here, man. I mean, I mean, look. Look at the mess. <laughs> I mean, look at the mess, bro. I mean, I mean, how can I, you know? Woo, no, that's Lord, all right. well, people, you know what? People can see it. People, if you want to check out his furs, he does awesome slides as well that have fur, fur slides. So check out his uh, Instagram page, everyone. I have to ask you a question. Um yeah, about your furs. My favorite rapper of all time is Ice T, and I remember in the bio that you sent me, and I've seen a photo of you with her. Uh, Coco actually wears your furs. Yeah, um, when Ice T, um, how that happened was, um, I had a pair, I had a pair of sneakers at my, uh, at, at my photographer place. Uh, his name is, uh, he's a celebrity photographer, um, Phil, Phyllis Natale Jr. And I guess Ice-T was over there with, with his wife, Coco, and what had happened was he saw a pair of sneakers that I had left there. Yeah. And Ice-T asked Felix, yo, can I have those sneakers? And Phil said, well, they're not mine. Let me, let me make a phone call. So when he made the phone call by celebrity photographer number had came up. But the person who was on the phone was, was Ice-T. <laughs> and, I, I, and I'm and i not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. You know, one thing about me, I don't front. I, you know, I don't get caught up in that. I I, I was shocked. I, I I couldn't believe I was talking to Ice-T. You know, I've always liked Ice-T as well. Um, you know, I know, I know a few people who, uh, you know, feel he has a bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I ain't gonna mention no names, but a few people feel he got, you know, he has a, a few bad attitudes. But that that's fine and dandy. I'm, I'm cool with that. But um, he's never mistreated me or um, been disrespectful to me in any way. Actually, he did me a favor because you know, Ice usually charges for his wife and love to wear anything. Yeah, and um, and he did he didn't do that to me. So I awesome. I, 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 I gotta respect I gotta respect that. And when he called me, he's like, yo, what's up, man? This is Ice T. You know, he you know, he'll be bullshit. You know, he he talked the way he talked. Yo, this is Ice, man. What's up? Man? This is Ice, baby. Talk to me. He said, Yo, he said, yo, man, I got a pair, you got a pair of sneakers over here. And um, I want to know, uh, can I have them? I said, Are they your size? He said, Yeah. I said, you can have them. And then he uh -huh. said, Yo, he said, Yo, man, you know what, man? Since we over here, man, we'll take some pictures in your furs and stuff like that. Awesome. And um, 
And he wound up taking some pictures of my furs, and him and his wife took them, and then they told me I could promote them and do whatever I could do with them. And uh, you know, it, what it a worked great out. Story. Yeah, yeah, it worked out. Yeah, it worked. It worked out for me. And me and him became really good friends. Every now and then, we do talk to each other. You know, uh, from time to time. Um, BTMB Magazine, which which my girl, um, you know, she pretty much owns the magazine. She has read um and, and covered his birthday party for like the last six years. Yeah. Um, you know, in New York City. So we, you know, we definitely real good friends with the man. And um, and at one time, I almost about to do a sneaker deal with him, but because he was filming Law and Order. Oh, uh, we were never, never able to really get together with him through a yeah. company I was dealing with out of Memphis, Tennessee. So, you know, um, unfortunately, but again, I still got the friendship out of the deal. He's yeah. still cool with me. Um, he, right. Again, he never been disrespectful to me. Um, always been a good guy to me. So, yeah, I, 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 I was definitely grateful and thankful for him uh, taking his time out to take a couple of photos in my clothes because he usually because he usually himself don't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's an awesome story, right. man. I was gonna say I've got we got five minutes before they cut us off. Um, did you oh, want to show okay. that Carly Vegas? This go. right here, this right here, this right here is, is the nineteen ninety two Patrick Ewing shoe that Patrick actually played in when oh, he played really? in the USA Dream Team. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know we got a little time. Um, real quick, yeah. Let me see if I can find this. Oh, my God. I might not be able to find it. If you can't find it, that's cool. Maybe just post it on your um, page. I don't know where the hell the shoe went. Oh. This shoe came to me in the mail the other day. Ah. The surgeon's bikini shoe. And Cali Vega sent this to me on his own. I didn't ask him to send it to me. He just said, yo, I, I'm, I'm just going to do something. He didn't tell me what he was going to do. And yesterday this shoe came. Surgeon Zucchini, one. yeah, it was it, it, it was it was gifted to me. I, I I was honored, you know. I just didn't know what to do, man. I, I I'm He's so grateful. Me up here as well. Oh, okay, okay. See, see, see? I couldn't believe it. I was like, really? And he goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, one stitch is all. You know, you know, you know, County, you know, County Vega. You know, he he's he's a different. If he if we if we cut off, we gotta go back over, man. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go back over real quick. I got a few more things to shout out, but yeah, that's good, Cali good. Vega, but Cali Vega to me, to be outside of like you know Fat Joe and people like that, you know, say like, like, like he's like the king of sneakers to me. Oh, bad like tennis man. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah he's the king. Yeah, he's yeah he's the king. I was like you know Fat Joe, you know, listen, Fat Joe, the mayor, and DJ Clark Kent, and then when you got somebody like DJ Clark Kent. Big it up a cat named Cali Vega. Exactly. That's a cosign with it itself. Exactly. And Cali Vega to me is the king of sneakers, pound for pound. And I and but I have no problem saying it. You call him the king of sneakers. He'd be like, "Stop it, man! Don't don't say I that." I know. Yeah. But you know why? Because he's humble. <laughs> he, he's humble. He's humble. Yeah. He's a humble dude. He's a humble dude. But you know, I'm, I'm here, man. Hey, I still got some more things to talk about, man. So if it cuts off, let's get hey, back bro, right I'll back come on. Back on, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a few people I got to shout out. <laughs> but, yeah, I know they're the best in here, man. I mean, I, I, I mean, man, I don't even know what else to say, man. I mean, it's just, I'm just so blessed to be from a um, a legendary um, town yeah. where I'm from. And, um, you know, a lot of people out here don't, don't know how legendary we are out here. And we're so close to New York City. And, um, uh, Back. Back. Okay. Just yeah. Jack, my man Jack. Right. So I always tell people that I have a style without a style. And the reason why I say that is because when I do get fly, you would never know where I'm from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where I'm from. So yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful that's a beautiful part about me. And sometimes the closest thing anybody can say to me when they can't figure it out, the first thing they'll say is 
Harlem. And, <laughs> and, I'm cool, and I'm cool with the Harlem because Harlem, to me, is the flyest cats of the planet. You know, they the same cats that can rock a T-shirt, jeans, and a pair of Air Force Ones, and you have somebody else trying to rock that same situation, it'll look like night and day. You know, Harlem just yeah. has a certain kind of Call just has a certain kind of cleverness, you know, oh, with them. Yes. Yeah, they just have a certain kind of a certain kind of cleverness with them when they, when they come on out. So I respect that. Uh, like like Fat Joe, Fat Joe's from the Bronx, but Fat Joe, you wouldn't know. You would know Fat Fat Joe to me is like Bronx Harlem. He 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 so he gets so fly that that you think he's from Harlem, yeah, but he yeah. been doing it for so but he's another way been doing it for so long. You know, he been doing it for so long. He been doing it since the eighties and yes. Bob. Yes. He been around all yes. the hustlers and everything like that. So he's you know, he still keeps the eighties with an up to date flair. You know what I'm saying? Jim Jones and people like that. You know, just shout out to a lot of people that I, I feel, you know, Votto, you know, uh uh uh, uh, uh Teddy Rux or Black Ink, you know, there's a few people that I, I you know I, I look I look at you know Puff Daddy's my favorite. I love Puff Daddy. You know, he, he yeah, Puff yeah, Puff does it all the way around the board, you know, another one that's very versatile with the dressing and um you know, I just have my own perception of what I feel fashion should be about. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? And yeah. uh, I appreciate all the people that supported me, that's buying all my clothes. I mean, I've been in this game since 1998, and I'm really, really here, you know, really showing love. Shout out to my sister, Victoria Reeves. I see you. I see my other sister out there, too. My other sister played Jane. I see you. Yo, shout out to everybody, man, who's just showing me. Shout out to my man, Black 13. I see you from Inglewood. Um, just, I'm just I'm just here just really just trying to motivate the culture and, yeah. and, 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 and show people, man, that you can get fly without wearing all that Gucci stuff. It doesn't wrong with it. I want to be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I want to I wanna be clear with that. Is there a role with that? You know, because I have a few pieces as well. But yeah, yeah. I also feel but I also feel you can mix it up and still look just as fly. Exactly. You know That's the whole idea. You can wear you can wear a target shit. Yeah, you can you can wear a target t shirt, man, and a and a, and a, and a, and a pair of uh uh George Romani jeans with a pair of Air Force Ones and still kill the game. Yeah, exactly. You know you know what I'm saying? So so that's where it's at, man. So I just try I just wanted to just show you a little bit about Empire um let me show y'all something else real quick. Um, yeah, cause I gotta show y'all this. Um, now, before I show you, let me let me let me get back to Cali Vega real quick. <laughs> Vega Vega used to get mad at me because I used to hashtag I'm not a sneakerhead, and he used to, he, get, he used to get me like, don't say that, don't say that. He used to get mad at me, but the reason why I was saying it, yeah, but the reason why I was saying it at the time was because. To me, maybe maybe the rules have changed. I don't know, but to me, um, a sneakerhead is somebody who like plays the game all the way through. Like like the, the, he he's online waiting for three or four hours. He's camping out for three nights yeah. straight. He yeah, he yeah. he by the computer with his credit card at twelve o'clock. You know, I, you know, I don't do all that. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm in I'm in position to where the stores call me. And say, hey man, you know, uh, you know, come, you know, we got some sneakers for you. Come and get them. I'm in that kind of position, so I never had to wait online for sneakers and all that stuff. But I understood what he was saying, and I and I, and I have to respect him because again, I feel he's the king of sneakers in my eyes. But again, like I said, DJ Clark can't big this man up. So I mean, exactly. at the end of the day, yeah, exactly. You know, you know, yeah. And and you about and you about to get a sneaker deal. You know, you know, um, you know, with you know, with Alicia. Yeah, with Alice, yeah, yeah. He's going to get, yeah, they're going to make a run of his shoes. He's going to make a run of his shoes. I can't Amazing. wait to get a pair of those. Yeah, I can't wait to get a pair of those. That's what I'm saying. I'm around good people. See, even in this time that we're going through with the, you know, we quarantined and we're going through this coronavirus thing, you know, it's, it's this kind of stuff that keeps me going. See, I'm around people who love fashion like you, Cali Vega, my boy, M. Cargo, Rocky, yeah, yo. I'm around all these people that love what we do. So when so you got people like, you know, Fat Joe and the mayor and Jimmy Jones, and they all doing their sneaker shows and uh, P.J. Tucker and all these people like that. And, and see, it, I can't speak for the rest of the world, but for me, I'm enjoying the time of being locked in the house because I'm really surrounded by what I love to do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. so it's a, so it's a, so it's definitely a blessing. Now, 
Now again, um, you know, I'm not um unfortunately, you know, that that's why the sneaker that uh Vega had gifted me is so important to me because I never really had a sneaker that was gifted to me just to be gifted to me. Yeah, yeah. So 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 for a hot minute. He got me feel like I'm like like I'm a ball player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, got, he got me feel like I'm part of Team Jordan or something, you know. Because I, I don't have nobody giving me sneakers, man. I I get everything, I get everything from the muscle, you know. Everything I get from the muscle, man, you know. So I I, I pay for everything, but but I do want to um give some credit now. I know they said that Michael Jordan, he has a sneaker out called the Trophy Room sneaker. Yes, it's because that is his son Marcus's shop is called the Trophy Room. Right now, now for me, for me, I had some sneakers that was gifted to me from a company. Like I said, I was gonna do a sneaker deal with Ice T, and it didn't work out again because he was doing the Law and Order thing. Yeah. But that same company, because I was able to contact Ice T and get a few celebrities to wear their sneakers out in Memphis, Tennessee, they awesome. gifted me. They gifted me like ten pairs of sneakers that I that I I consider my trophy room. So I'm going to show you a few of those pair of those sneakers yeah. that I consider my definitely. trophy room. Yeah, definitely. So so yeah, so these are one of the sneakers right here. Oh yeah, they're sick. Yeah, these yeah these are yeah these are called M Towns. And these sneakers right here is all patent leather, leather Chicago yeah, Bull. Yes, yeah, Chicago Bull, no colorway. Right, so these are one of the sneakers they gave. It's like I said, what about trophy room sneakers? Um, then we got, then we got the all pat leather, purple and black. Man, They're all pat leather. Yeah, you know that they, you know that they, they, they gave that they gave me. You know, um, they gave me this sneaker right here, the uh. all green and white. Pat leather in leather. This is pat leather in leather. And leather. And see, and see, and they got the official NBA logo on the back. On the back. Ah, cool. Yeah, because because they they had they had permission for the NBA to put their logo on the sneakers, so the NBA players was able to rock those sneakers outside of their contract. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and that's why these sneakers are so special to me because nobody has them. Like yeah. not even not even the owner. The owner don't even have them. He gave them to me, and I, you know. I, I I really appreciate what he's done. Um got Marie in the house, my man Marie. Oh, yeah. they're sick. Yeah, see, got the NBA logo, the Timberwolves. These are the Timberwolves NBA sneakers. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is where we at with it, man. This is what we this is what this is what this is what we're doing here. Um oh my god, man. Oh my god. Let me see what else I got here. These sneakers right here is called the wow. lightsaber. Yeah. They're crazy. Yeah. Got the clock on the soul, back. Soul, man. Yeah, yeah. An incredible, an incredible shoe, man. Uh, uh on, what's happening? This was custom made. This was this was custom done. You see my name in there, Polo. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, so all this custom work. They got the skull heads all inside the shoe. The, the bad artwork is impeccable. You see what I'm saying? So it's these cool, are right? like my trophy. So those are my trophy room shoes. You know, to me, and um, oh, yeah, I like those ones. Yeah, you know, say another, 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 uh, Milwaukee Bucks NBA sneaker, you know, so nobody has these sneakers but me, yeah. And it and it and it was gifted to me, you know, and I protect them from the uh, bottom of my heart, you know. And um, oh, 
That's crazy. I love that one. The only person, the only person I know that still has a sneaker is Cali Vega. He has the original Lotto. Yeah, yeah. And what I did was, right, right. But I, but these are the soccer version. And what I did yeah. was I ordered I ordered the shoe, but because I wanted to peel off the patch, I made it. So yeah, I can yeah. so I can peel that off. Yeah. Off 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 the lottos. Yeah, they put crazy. it back. That's like yeah. a that's you like an indoor an indoor boot. Like an yeah. indoor soccer boot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we 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 we, we here, man. Um I gotta shout out I gotta shout out my girl, man, Sha man. Lewis. I got to talk about girl Shao Lewis. She um uh well, well let me take it back to the beginning. I gotta be real. My whole girl, Lisa, she came across uh Tracy Ellis Ross, Diana Ellis Ross's daughter's blog. And it was called for the love of sneakers. And when I told my girl about it, my girl wrote a hell of a a bio for the blog. Yeah. And and Tracy wanted people to share their love of sneakers. And uh, I have put so many different sneakers up there on her blog, I might have, I might have outdid Tracy on her own blog. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? So I, I was honored that I was able to get on her blog and show my sneakers. So if anybody um, wants to go to Tracy Ellis Ross's blog, just go to Google and put it up, um, love, love for Sneakers. By Tracy Ellis Ross, and it'll pop up, and you can see where um, I'm like number one up there. I I I, I think I've been number one for like the last five years. It's yeah. just been on her blog. Yeah, just been on her blog. Yeah, nobody's been able to come up, come through and see me. So, you know, again, man, I, I, I'm just a humble soul until it's time about to be humble. You know, yeah. and my thing is this. Yeah, my thing is this. I, you know, I don't. No, I, I'm cool. I'm cool with what you did back in the day. I'm cool with that. But what are you doing now? Yeah, yeah. You no, know, what what do you what you got going on now? Talk to me now. What are you doing? Because see, for me, at least out here where I'm at, see, I don't get fly for the barber shops. See, a lot of cats want to be hood though. They want to be hood though. You know, you walk in the barber shop, oh I got on a new pair of sneakers. Man, listen, I get paid I get paid to get fly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get paid to get fly. There's, there's a difference walking in the barber shop and somebody big you up on your sneakers. I don't care about that. I get paid to get fly. I don't get yeah. fly for the chicks. I get fly for the checks. You know yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so there's a big difference between me and those kind of people. But at the same time, I work hard. I deserve what I have. You know, yeah. um, you know, I get right here with it, and uh, you know, and I, um, I get jiggy with it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I just appreciate, and I appreciate that. Um, God gave me, um, God gave me the, uh, the ability. To be um, cause I'm six because I'm like six two, six two and a half, two hundred and fifteen pounds, two hundred eighteen pounds. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, um, <laughs> my, my, my girl is crazy. Yeah, you better not be Um, you know, and I'm and I'm and I'm in shape. So you got cats out here that call me the PJ Tucker of the footwear. And they call me PJ Tucker the footwear because I got that different kind of footwear, and I just showed you a whole bunch of footwear. Plus, I'm in shape like he's in shape. So, so yeah. I get a lot of nicknames that's thrown at me, but I don't take every nickname unless I feel I can fill the void of the nickname. So they sort of call me PJ Tucker the footwear. I do I can fill the void because again, he just he just paid for what he do. I get paid for what I do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. And, PJ, and PJ Tucker, he know he know for them sneakers, boy. He got he got he got a big collection, and yeah, I respect. So, so again, I'm I, I, I'm here. But let me let me let me uh let's see if I can show you something else real quick. Um, oh, man, so what's happening? This is um after after um after we get out of this this quarantine thing, look out for this line right here. This is called the Young 
This is called the Young Pedro Collection. Awesome. Yeah, that's like that's like that's like the um. Okay, my that's partner like, says we're gonna do another episode just on furs next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we could do. Yeah, for sure. Um, this right here is like a younger version of me getting money when I was younger, and now yeah. the older version of me still getting money the <laughs> way that I get money. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, shout out to my man, my brother Evan Cargo for the artwork for this right here, you know, and shout out to my sis, you know, V for, for putting this together for me. So that's what we doing here. And I just wanted to just show y'all, you know, this is my Fur King line right here. This is my Fur King. Yeah. This is my this is my this is my hoodie right here. This is the FK FK hoodie, my 20th yeah, anniversary. Crazy, one. You know what I mean? So you know, we we here, we here, we here rocking with that. And then, and then you know, you know, I know I, I I want I want people to always feel like I want people to realize that um again like I know I design my own clothes, so nine times out of ten nobody's gonna have what I have on. Yeah, yeah. But 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 here, here's some that that you can't get. See, this is see I rock this other kind of stuff. See. Let me let me make sure y'all see this. Let me make sure you y'all see this. You see it? Yes. Okay. This is this is a this is a you know you know how back in the day cats used to rock jerseys. Yeah. Okay. This is an authentic NBA referee jersey from straight from Dubai. Oh wow. Yeah, this is it. This is from Dubai. You can't, you can't, you can't Google this. You can't find it. You can't go buy it nowhere. You got, you got to know a referee in order to, uh, to get, get this a, kind of get, get this kind of hardware. You, 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 you see that? You see that writing? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, and I ain't just got one. You know, I got two. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So. So, you know, a lot of, I mean, I can be here all day talking to you about fashion, man, because I, I, I got it. I know people ask me about the furs and stuff like that, but that's going to have to be another segment. Yeah, we'll do, do another time, yeah. 100%. Yeah, do it this way, yeah, this way, this way I can have all my furs here, because I can't fit everything in here, man. I got stuff all over the goddamn place. I barely can, I barely can move in here with the sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but... <laughs> But you know, but for the most part, man, I just want before I go, I just want to just, you know, again, man, you know, shout out to my girl Sha for showing me a lot of love. I appreciate the love that she shows me. Shout out to my brother K Forrest, again, the, the gatekeeper, uh, fashion guy. Um, oh man, man, uh M Carl Go. Um man, man, shout out to uh I see I see my man, I see my man, I think I see my man one fresh. That's my man one fresh in there. Uh, hey, Black, I see you. I see you. I will get you no pullers, man. I will get you no pullers. I got you. Um, you know, uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's overwhelming. Yeah. You know, it's overwhelming, man. You know, um, I just appreciate everybody who really, really shows me love. Because, you know, sometimes I feel, you know, people, um, you, know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, they get upset, you know, because somebody is doing well. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, and I never understood. And I never understood that because I ain't bothering nobody. I'm not robbing nobody. I'm not yeah, stealing yeah. from nobody. I'm up yeah. here every day, busting my ass every day to make a living for me and my family. You understand what I'm saying? I'm up here really busting my ass every single day. Like I tell my girl all the time, I don't do this for me no more. It was for me at one time. I'm not by myself the most, so now I do it for us. Yeah, you understand? And I'm and I'm and I'm in this and I'm in this struggle. Shout out to my girl. Shout out to one of the flyest girls. Named Kelly Robinson, she's another female oh, that's Kelly? just yeah. Kelly's just another kind of fly. She's she, <laughs> Kelly, yeah. She's she, she's different, man. She's different. Shout out to Kelly. Um, but I just wanted to just let people know, man, that I'm here, and if I can help you, I will. Yeah. You know, even 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 through this even through this time that we're going through right now, I'm in the same struggle. I ain't making no money right now. I'm up here. I'm up here. Kelly Robinson, what's up, girl? You know what I'm saying? I'm up here. I'm up here in the same struggles as everybody else. I ain't making no money right now. And and but but I still went out there and I bought um a hundred masks 
and I gave them out to random people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gave some to my barber friends. I gave some to people in the street that didn't have none. I gave some to some of my, my, my Instagram followers and, and Facebook followers. I, I did that off the strength of my, of my own dime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, 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 I'm not, but I'm not up here complaining about it. So all I, all I could do, all I could do is just be who I could be and uh, keep being uh, authentic. Um, I'm like I said, I'm from the old school, so I, I, I personally don't break no codes. Um, and I, and yeah, I know yeah. I don't. And I know, I know I'm a good person. I know I'm a real good person, and I know that um, I'm God fearing. And I know that, and I know that if I can help somebody, I will. It won't, it won't never be me saying no just to be spiteful. It'll really just be because I might not be in position to help you. But but I'm glad that God has gave me a way to where I can help people. I don't gave away so many pair of sneakers. I don't yeah. gave away so many pair of clothes. I don't help the homeless. I done helped a lot, a lot of people, man, out here, yeah. you know, in my day. So, at the end of the day, you know, that's that's the best I can do. So, I hope everybody is grateful and thankful. I know that I am, and uh, I know my God is everything. And uh, you know, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here to stay, bro. Yeah, awesome, man. Thank you so much for being on my show, man. Yes, sir. No, thank you for having me, man. And shout out to all your Australian, Australian friends. And fans, I saw them. It was nothing but love. This was an incredible show, and I'm, I'm, I'm man, wow! I can't, I can't wait to see the repeat of this. Yes, yeah, my man, my man, Righty uh, does the, uh, does it for me in the background, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you straight away. Okay, my brother, I appreciate no you, man. Be safe, man. Yes, no, you too. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, hey, I wish you here to help me clean up this mess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. God bless. Catch you later, man. God bless you, you brother. Too. Bye bye. All right. Whew. Man, that was an awesome show. Sorry, I had to move around. My battery's dying now, which is why. But the charge is not working, but doesn't matter. But um, shouts to everyone here and abroad that watched for episode 18. And, uh, man, in these crazy times and stuff like that, uh, just stay safe and, um, you know, uh, rest in peace to all the people that have lost their lives during this fucked up time. And, um, you know, if you have to stay, yeah, stay inside, you know what I mean? Only go out if you have to. I mean, I'm not your parents or nothing, but uh, it's a crazy time. And once again, one more time, uh, rest in peace to Nish as well. You know, um, she'll be sorely missed by a lot of people, you know, and, yeah. It's uh, it's it's hectic, you know what I'm saying. But um, on that note, you know, try and enjoy your weekend with your loved ones, and you know, uh, be safe. And uh, I'm out until next time. Thank you so much, everyone, and thank you to the, to the man Potter, man, the Fur King. Thank you. <laughs>